Welcome and congratulations on hosting a Special Olympics program level Youth Leadership Summit. Throughout this video, you will learn about the Lead to Include Project, Youth Leadership Summits, requirements of a program level Youth Leadership Summit, and how to access resources to make your event successful. You are watching this video because your Special Olympics program has been chosen to lead a program level youth summit as part of the Special Olympics Lead to Include project. The Special Olympics Lead to Include project is a five year project that will develop a structure of youth summits at the global, regional, program, and school and local levels to train youth as not only youth leaders, but as trainers of other youth leaders. Through the Lead to Include Project's multi-tiered youth summit approach, youth leaders are leading youth summits around the world to empower and educate others to support the creation of more inclusive communities. So, what is a Youth Leadership Summit? Special Olympics Youth Leadership Summits provide youth leaders with the opportunity to develop their personal leadership skills and educate others about the importance of inclusion. Some of the key takeaways of a Youth Leadership Summit include developing leadership skills, educating others about Special Olympics, leading initiatives that promote acceptance and respect, and empowering other young people to make a difference in their schools and communities. A program level youth leadership summit will also provide youth leaders with the knowledge and skills they need to lead a local or school level youth leadership summit in their community. If youth leaders will not be hosting a local level youth summit, they will gain resources needed to create a unified school, or if they already attend a unified school, the confidence to expand programming to become a unified champion school. Now that you have an idea about the objectives of a program level youth leadership summit, it is time to discuss the requirements for hosting this event. Before beginning to plan for the event, a leadership team should be created to determine the details of the Youth Summit. This includes dates, projected budget, number of attendees, and other logistics. Members of the leadership team could include youth leaders and adult mentors who have attended previous Youth Leadership Summits, students with and without intellectual disabilities, and teachers or administrators. The program level Youth Leadership Summit should aim to have 10 to 15 delegations participate. A delegation includes one youth leader with an intellectual disability, one youth leader without an intellectual disability, and an adult mentor. The adult mentor can be a Special Olympics volunteer, coach, educator, or other trusted adult that will support the youth leaders. It is strongly encouraged that the adult mentor not be a parent of one of the youth leaders. The content of a program level youth leadership summit should include a youth leadership training and time for participants to prepare plans for their call to action post summit. Call to action plans could include preparing for a local or school level youth leadership summit, expanding unified schools or unified champion schools programming, or leading an inclusive youth leadership training. A program level youth leadership summit should be one to two days in length and include one to two hours dedicated to the youth leadership training. Once the program level youth leadership summit has ended, 
there are reporting items that will need to be shared with Special Olympics regional staff. Throughout this summit, you will need to collect participant testimonials, photos and videos, event metrics, and post-summit survey responses. As you prepare for your program level Youth Leadership Summit, there are a few resources available to support you in planning and implementing this event. Go to www.specialolympicsglobalyouth.org backslash lead to include. On this page is a program level Youth Leadership Summit Toolkit. This toolkit provides planning checklists, outlines the youth leadership training, and includes other information that will be helpful when leading this event. Editable documents of templates throughout the program level Youth Leadership Summit Toolkit are also available on this website. If you have any questions throughout the process of planning and leading your program level Youth Leadership Summit, please do not hesitate to reach out to your Special Olympics regional staff. We wish you the best of luck in hosting your program level Youth Leadership Summit and educating youth leaders of the unified generation.